నమస్తే మై నేమ్ ఇస్ యోగా చర్య రాకేష్ ఫ్రమ్ సమ్యక్ యోగా మైసూర్ ఇండియా టుడే వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈస్ విన్యాస యోగా ద వర్డ్ విన్యాస ఇస్ అ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ త్రీ వర్డ్స్ వి నీ అండ్ ఆస వి అండ్ నీ ఆర్ ద ఉపసర్గాస్ ఇన్ సంస్కృత్ విచ్ కెన్ ఆల్సో బీ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ప్రీఫిక్సెస్ అండ్ దే మీన్ స్పెసిఫికలీ ఆస ఇస్ ద రూట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ప్లేస్డ్ systematically placed is the total meaning of vinyasa you can also say continuity or a progression is the literal meaning of word vinyasa vinyasa is not jump back and jump through or doing chaturangas the upward dogs and downward dogs of course they become the major part of your practice but that is not all about vinyasa yoga tristhana practice the main ingredient of vinyasa yoga is tristhana practice tristhana means the asana the breath and the drishti the focus point let's say you are practicing trikonasana you turn towards the right side with inhalation you are looking at the tip of the right middle finger there is a asana drishti and there is a breath that is inhale as you exhale you will look to the tip of the big toe there is a drishti there is an exhalation the breath and the asana you grab the right big toe with the index and middle finger so once you reach down you open the chest taking the left arm up looking to the tip of the left middle finger hastagra drishti and you are reaching the final position of trikonasana it is not just about the final position of trikonasana it is also the process to reach the final position so this is the tristhana practice that makes the vinyasa in the particular asana and then combining two asanas systematically for example if you are in virabhadrasana b then from there with inhale you take the arm up to the ceiling and give a beautiful stretch with exhalation where you are combining two asanas together and that is also vinyasa not just combining two asanas also combining two different families of asanas for example combination of hip openers with arm balances so that is also vinyasa krama finally the big picture of vinyasa yoga is how do you beautifully sequence each asana with its vinyasa krama and then the sequencing between two asanas sequencing between two different asana families and then finally sequencing the entire class which is systematically linked to the theme that you are offering so this entire practice together becomes a beautiful vinyasa yoga class where do we see the first reference of vinyasa yoga vinyasa yoga is not a different system than hatha yoga the very first reference can be seen in traditional hatha yoga surya namaskara where from namaskar asana with inhalation you are taking the arms up for urdhvasta asana with exhalation lengthening the spine you are placing the palms down for uttanasana with inhalation you are taking the right leg back for ashwasanchalanasana with exhalation you are taking the left leg back for dandasana in this way you have the combination of asanas with the breath and the drishti you can see in the traditional hatha yoga surya namaskara which has been in the practice since time immemorial so vinyasa yoga is not a new method but definitely it became very popular after the teachings of shri krishna macharya when systematically connecting the breath asana and the drishti in the asana and sequencing between asanas it becomes easier to find the stillness of the mind so that's why this is also called moving meditation <laughs>